Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCE video series. Today's video is on setting up the virtual exam environment. So we're going to use a pretty similar method to the RHCSA exam environment. So this is the RD break um, one again, which is recommended within the um, Red Hat certs Slack. Um, which many of you will be already a member of and he's got a RHC 8 environment So if you scroll down in the readme.md you will find the steps for Windows slash Fedora um, So the f we need a few things. So one is vagrant um, If you haven't stored it in ready, we need to go ahead and do that and also the latest version of VirtualBox and the VirtualBox extension pack so this will click in that will link to here um, so you just got to download the Windows host version and then install the extension pack as well so probably you've done that in previous videos so I won't go through it again here uh, Vagrant, yeah so just go to Windows and in this case it will be AMD64 Yeah, we just download that okay so once you've installed Vagrant then we're going to do we're going to do some PowerShell to install the uh, Vagrant Guest Ansible. Okay, that should be pretty straightforward so far. So Vagrant will be pretty much a next next finish, unless you want to instead change where it's installed. So I'm just going to put my uh, D drive in this case. Okay, so while it's doing that, we can actually skip ahead to creating a separate bin directory or a location where you can download the software. Um, so we, we've got to go to this page. So I'll just open in a new tab so we can go ahead and do that. So we've just got to go ahead and download the um, repository. So we literally just go to the bin directory and download that, clone download or download zip button. So code, download zip. And we need to download that to my Vagrant directory here. So that's downloaded. Okay, so once downloaded, unzip the file. Okay, so I'll just show it in the folder, which actually should be here. Um, just wait for it to finish its AV scan. Okay, so it's passed. Um, so I'll just do unzip here. Just right click, extract all. And just pop into there, and we can remove the zip file now. Cool. So in the vagrant folder, so D vagrant. Okay, we've got multiple folders. So let me just move it up a level. I don't like. It's a bit messy otherwise. So I just selected it all and uh, cut. So it should be anything in there now. Yeah, that's a bit cleaner. Okay, so the Vagrant RHC Environment Master, and then you've got all these different um, files, inventory files, etc., etc. Okay, so that's pretty much ready to go. Um, so once we've got Vagrant installed, it's still copying files, it looks like. We're going to do the Vagrant plugin, plugin install, and, and then we're going to just um, extract the file and run Vagrant up, pretty much once we get into the environment. Okay, so that's now completed, so we can click finish, and we have to restart the computer, so I will restart that now. Okay, so we've rebooted the box, so the next thing is to run PowerShell as administrator, and essentially just run this one command, so I just launch PowerShell, run as administrator, Let me just make the font a bit bigger. And we'll just do vagrant plugin install vagrant hyphen guest underscore ansible. <laughs> Easy to remember. <laughs> okay, so you should get and installed the plugin vagrant guest. So it means it's successfully installed. Okay, so if we go back to here, if using Fedora, Fedora, sorry, um, Need to update the system, we don't need any of these things, so okay. 
So once the software has been installed, do the following if you run the environment on Windows. So we created the separate directory. You need to cd into that directory. Okay. So I need to change my directory uh, drive to D. In this case, uh, it was Vagrant. And then it was RHC Master. If I just do an LS, we should get. Yep. So we've got the relevant files in here. So let's go in here. I think can we just do a Vagrant up, I believe. So once I zip to the file use powershell terminal as administrator slash root which we just did already go to the cd into the directory and run vagrant up so which you copy paste job and then essentially just wait a long time for it to provision everything for us uh, it will take a little while to do the same You can see it's creating several servers. So we've got a repo server, node one, node two, node three, and four, and then finally the control node. So obviously the repo is going to be the repository. Node one to four is um, systems you're going to control with the control node, which is going to be the Ansible server essentially. So it, it's currently downloading some virtual box images from the looks of it, uh, which are stored in the Vagrant cloud. So we're just going to wait for those to download and install. Um, nothing too exciting here. Okay, after some time, uh, you should eventually get a welcome to the RHC study test environment. And uh, you should see basically an okay message uh, that it's been successful. Um, for now, it said, and now you, can, you should be able to sudo to those various boxes using the details given below. So so um all the information is here system details are all in the page as well um so it's sudo ssh router or vagrant ssh system username is user or root and the password in all cases just password so let's open another PowerShell again let's make the font a bit bigger okay so we should be able to do ssh user at 192.168.55.200 and say yes and password And we got into the control node. Okay. So now we know that works. Um, so a couple of other things to mention is that you can do a vagrant destroy to remove the environment. You've got a halt to shut down the entire environment, suspend or resume. Um, if you look in VirtualBox, you actually see the environments, the system actually all of them there. So you could actually just go and shut them down if required. Okay, so let's go and do a vagrant halt. And let's get these all shut down. So it's all pretty hands off, which is quite nice. And it, it definitely works a lot better than it did um, in the previous versions. But right, that's all I wanted to cover today. Um, so we set up the environment ready and we will then do the actual exam questions in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next one. Thank you. Right now, I've just popped up on my on the screen uh, my T Public page. Uh, that's for any kind of CSG merch. If that's anything you're interested in, uh, got my Kofi page um, for any kind donations. Um, if that's uh, something you're interested in. Um, yep, and also just the details of my Discord server. So that's the best place to ask questions. Um, also, we've got, obviously, you can ask questions in the comments and I'll try and um, help out where I can. But Discord Pace is a great place. We've got a bit of a community going there. And um, you can reach out to myself and also the community and someone will try and help you. Um, yeah, it's a great community we're building there. Well, thanks again and I'll see you at the next video. Cheers.